It takes just three steps to get your entire family, including your pets, ready for an emergency. When considering your pets, you'll need to get a pet emergency supply kit, make an emergency plan for your pet's care, and stay informed about different types of emergencies. To get started, go to ready.gov to get a list of everything your family and pet emergency supply kit should contain. What are we going to do about the pets? Should we go back to the, the ready.gov and see what we're going to do about our pets? Great idea. In addition to what you'll need for your family, your pets will also need specific supplies. Okay, we've got the stuff that we need for us for our emergency kit. I've got the water and the food and the first aid kit. What do we need for Dakota? Well, I've got the brochure from ready.gov, so let's go through the list. Food, at least three days. Christopher, can you get the food? I'll put it in the kit. Just hand it to me. Great. And water for three days. Once you've got everything together, put all the pet supplies in a container that you can carry with you if you need to leave home in an emergency. And we need medicines and medical records. Oh, Cricket, can you get that? Remember, pet food and medicine can spoil, just like our food and medicine. So you should check your kits regularly to make sure all the pet supplies are still fresh. She'll like this. That's great. I think we've got food, water, medicine, something to play with, and our crate. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. If there's an emergency, you may be able to stay in your home or you may have to evacuate. It's important to have a family emergency plan that considers the needs of your pet for either situation. <laughs> oh, that's good. So let's call some kennels and see what they might do. Here's why. If you have to evacuate, take your pets with you. But keep in mind that some shelters won't allow pets inside. Prepare ahead of time by calling your local office of emergency management to see if any shelters in your area will take pets. You should also contact kennels, veterinary hospitals, and hotels to see if they'll take pets during an emergency. In addition, develop a buddy system with neighbors, friends, or relatives to care for each other's pets. You'd agree that you would take our pets, and then we would agree that we would take yours. It's a great idea. Pet locator decals can alert first responders that there are pets inside your home. And you might want to consider having your veterinarian microchip your pets to help identify them in an emergency. It leaves that microchip in under the skin, and then when you use a scanner, which is capable of reading that microchip, a unique number comes up on the scanner face, then that information can be used to reunite an animal with its owner, which is, again, one of our ultimate goals if an animal does get separated. At ready.gov, you'll find links to local information that will help you learn about the types of emergencies that could affect your family and pets. The information will help you know what to do in case of any emergency, natural or man-made. You'll find everything you need to prepare yourself, your family, and your pets for an emergency at ready.gov. It's as simple as one, two, three.